How's it going everyone? My name is RJ and we finally did it. After months of wanting to work with Spigen, they did finally reach out and they asked me if I wanted to cover their cases for my favorite iPhone, the iPhone 12 mini. You guys may have heard of Spigen. I've been a fan of their cases for quite some time now. So this is definitely a huge milestone for the channel. And I want to thank all of you guys for your unwavering support. It really does mean a lot to me. I do have a ton of videos planned out for February, including my everyday iPhone 12 mini accessories, my everyday tech carry, my desk setup video, and many more exciting videos in the pipeline. So if you guys want to stay tuned for that, make sure you leave a like on this video and do subscribe to the channel because February is about to be lit. Also, if you are a small tech creator and you do want to get some more exposure, make sure you follow me over on Twitter and join my subreddit because I do have some exciting things in the works. So definitely stay tuned for that. Vegan did recently make their own version of MagSafe called PowerArc. So I'm definitely excited to check this out and see if it's a worthy adversary to Apple's very own MagSafe charger. What I really appreciate about Spigen is their presentation is top notch and they make you feel like you are a part of something really special, even though these are just cases and accessories. So inside, we have all the necessities for the iPhone 12 mini. This is sort of an iPhone 12 mini care package, if you will. Once you open up the box, there is a nice wholesome message which reads, we got you. And for any of you Toronto Raptor fans out there, this is very reminiscent of what DeMar DeRozan tweeted back in 2010. And the Raptors did go on to make an epic playoff push and an epic playoff run. So we got three cases here and they're all for the iPhone 12 mini. We have the ever popular signature Spigen case, the Ultra Hybrid, along with Spigen's new Mag Armor, which is MagSafe friendly, and of course, my favorite, the Spigen ThinFit. This case has excellent grip with that non-slip coating. Uh, we'll get to each of these cases in a bit, but first let's see what else we get in the box. As I mentioned earlier, we got the brand new Spigen PowerArc Magnetic Wireless Charger. So this is a variant of the MagSafe charger, which I am eager to test out. We also have a 20 watt power adapter that is apparently so much more compact than the rest of the competition. And last but not least, we have the Spigen Easy Fit glass screen protector, which does come in a pack of two. So for sure a lot of goodies and over on the bottom, you can see the hashtag Team Spigen, meaning that your boy is officially on the Spigen train. Starting off with the ultra hybrid case, just pull off the tab right here and out pops the case. Now this case does come in a variety of colors. If you want that pop of color on your 12 mini, you can get this case in red, beige, navy, blue, crystal clear, and what I have here, matte black. The ultra hybrid is a see-through case where you can flex the Apple logo through its crystal clear clarity. The back is pretty rigid and there is some great grip on this case for everyday use. The Ultra Hybrid is also military grade certified with air cushion technology and this case is compatible with wireless charging. Next up is the Spigen Mag Armor. This is a new case in Spigen's lineup with MagSafe tech in mind. There is a conductive magnetic ring inside, all of the cutouts are accurate and you get that nice strong magnetic connection whenever you do use the PowerArc wireless charger. I do appreciate the sleek matte finish and I feel like it does go really well with my black iPhone 12 mini. I'm always trying to keep my iPhone 12 mini as lightweight as possible and I feel like the Mag Armor case really serves that purpose all while providing some really good drop protection. So overall, it is pretty much a win-win in my books. You do need to know though that over time you will notice some circular impressions from MagSafe charging, which is quite honestly inevitable with any case. Lastly, we have my favorite case, the Spigen ThinFit. Spigen calls it a timeless classic, and I quite honestly do agree. It's engineered to stay lightweight and slim, all while providing some good quality protection. This case, much like the Spigen Ultra Hybrid, is offered in a variety of colors. And the ThinFit I find does have the most grip thanks to the non-slip coating. The ergonomics of this case make it easily pocketable, so there is no issues there. And I do find the feedback of the volume markers on the power button to be quite good. Out of these three cases, only the MagArmor case is MagSafe compatible. 
compatible. The other two cases do work with MagSafe, but I find the strength and magnetic connection to be lacking. I mean, you can get it to work, but I do find the MagSafe charger to be falling off far too often. We have two more accessories here, and they both do go hand in hand. Spigen did make their own version of MagSafe charging called the Power Arc. This is capable of charging your iPhone at a speed of 15 watts. All you do need is a 20 watt USB-C charging brick, which Spigen conveniently also sells. This is by far the smallest and the most compact charging brick I have ever seen. This is definitely going to be my traveling charger of choice eventually whenever we do get back to that. The Power Arc does have a little bit more surface area than Apple's MagSafe. This is great because I find it to easily attach to the back of my mini and begin charging almost instantly. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. This is not possible without your guys' support. So I really do appreciate each and every single one of you. If you are a small creator, make sure you follow me over on Twitter and join my subreddit at RJ Tech. And don't forget to flex with your Spigen case tech.